people of Mbitolu Ikeduru rise to lend my voice to the alarm that is being sounded by my junior brother there, uh, Honorable Kafo, in the health sector. Mr. Speaker, my dear colleagues, the National Health Act potentially has the capacity to save three million lives. But we will not make any achievement in this sector if we do not activate certain things that have been highlighted by Honorable Chike. And I want to bring to the fore one of such. We need to have a handshake between the private sector, the government, and even the academia, because basic healthcare delivery is failing in this country. A situation where we're saying we are running out of vaccines and we have a shortage of over $180 million. And yet, in this same country, we have vaccines that have been painstakingly brought into Nigeria and are sitting somewhere and are about to go or about to expire. It shows that there is no efficiency in the delivery of primary health care. There is also talk about allocating 1% from our consolidated revenue fund to form the basic primary health care fund. As a matter of urgency, we need to activate that. Because some of these threats by our development partners, like Gavin, that they are going to withdraw, we can, I see no reason why Nigeria cannot produce vaccines up till today, locally. There's nothing stopping us. We have the research institutes in JOS, and we have enough capacity to look inwards to at least begin. It's very, very interesting to know that a lot of honorable members today have said they have primary health care in their constituencies. I do not have none in my area. So this is a matter that is people-centered, and as a responsible house, I'm lending my voice and urging this house to pass this motion with the speed of light. I so submit. Thank you. Finally, Honorable Sir Jones. Mr. Speaker, my dear Honorable colleagues. Signature to the Abuja Declaration. And as we listen to Honorable Kafo, there are countries already, including uh, Rwanda, Ghana, and some other countries that have gone beyond the 15% and are doing 17, 18%. If the uh, power of appropriation lies in this house, as you have rightly said, Mr. Speaker, I would have thought or I would suggest that perhaps as a house we can resolve that we will in the 2017 budget strive to at least meet the requirement of the Abuja Declaration. I believe if we take that decision as a house, we will be able to implement that. I so submit. Still, you are still 